hey, I, I usually don't do a video in the middle of the week, but something awesome has happened. And in my brand of YouTube uh, and videos, uh, I tend to be fairly transparent and I share a lot of things and, and a lot of my mistakes uh, because we all make mistakes. Uh, and, and I do quite frequently, if you guys have been with me for a long time. And I think maybe people forget that from time to time. You, you know, failing is part of success. If you're not failing, you're not trying hard enough. And by that measure, hey, I, I'm trying super hard. <laughs> Here's the important thing. I'll never quit. Since the beginning of Overland Bound, I've had to mature a lot in terms of running a business, developing software while bootstrapping um, what we have, and um, growing to meet the demands of our Overland community. Um, and that's been the hustle every single day. There's so much that happens behind the scenes. So a couple of weeks ago, we, we uh, uh, did a video saying Overland Bound is, is seeking new owners. We're seeking owners from the community because our, community, our, our company is, is founded on community. It seemed only right we have these needs to grow in order to support the demands of the community. That's what we're here to do. And that mission is vitally important. Supporting the community to get outside, to adventure. You need that time away to be grounded and to improve your life. The decisions you make, take a look at what you're doing. We know it's vitally important and you guys have shown us that since the beginning. And it just made sense to us to say, well, instead of going the, the, the venture capital route, um, which is fairly typical, it, it makes sense to us to include the community as part of our growth. So we did that. And um, you guys showed up. <laughs> In in force. Uh, that's not a testament to Overland Bound necessarily. I think it's a, a testament to what we're trying to do and what the community needs. When we started growing the community, you guys told us what to build. I mean, this goes back to 2010, you know, and, and then uh, a little bit later on, I was still working and Corey was, um, she had a, a job and, and the demands of the community became so great that it was like, we had to look at each other and go, are we doing this? <laughs> Cause something's got to give. And so Corey actually was the first to quit her job and dedicate full-time effort to Overland Bound. And she did that for a few years. So we've had to mature because you guys, scaling a community as large as Overland Bound has grown requires a robust software platform. And you guys are well, yeah, I have to do with adventure. And I agree with you, but it has to get done because adventure travelers need certain things. And I think that's why you guys showed up in force. Years ago, when we were looking at, fair, at, at various things, um, there's software platforms out there. Y'all know them by name, um, you know, but what you guys told us was that adventure travelers need three things. First and foremost, you need the support of your community. Second, you need to be able to plan trips and events. And third, you need awesome mapping and navigation. Those three things. So why are those three things all in separate apps right now? Why are you shuffling through papers still, downloading maps over here, asking your community over here, planning events over here? And why are you guys forced to sell your personal information on the book face in order to connect with people about adventure travel? It doesn't make any sense. And the other thing is, to be honest with you, we didn't see a community feel that we believed in. There are other communities out there and I'm not bad mouthing you guys. This is hard, <laughs> but we took some risks. <laughs> like, uh, other communities are like, I'm not giving you that information. No, you're a newbie. You, you don't know how to do this. Well, shame on you. We, we all started somewhere. And here's what I mean by took risks. 
We bird dog that stuff in our community. You want to come into our community and start stirring stuff up about how somebody, you know, plans to adventure, how somebody can, what they drive, that kind of thing. We won't have it. And we have volunteers within our communities that bird dog that stuff. It will not fly. And so the community that we built, hey, it's family friendly. You know why? Because adventure is for everybody. So that didn't exist. We built it. And we need to continue building it. So having to grow up around business. Um, the other day I had a call with a venture capitalist. He just saw the thing that you guys did and the, the Republic campaign and he's looking to make some money off the company that you guys helped to, help to build and I respect that. Um, you know, he asked me, he said, why did you decide to go the crowdfunding route uh, as a startup? And I said, well, you know, we're, we're a bit different. Uh, our community helped to build us. It seemed only right that they'd be able to have an ownership stake as we grow. And his response was interesting. He said, well, now that we're all done being altruistic, what are your real goals? I mean, you got to play the game this day and age. No, you don't. Do you guys think I would ever let someone like that invest in our company? No. And that's not how we're going to do things. You guys are going to see a lot of changes. You guys are going to see Overland Bound grow and change, but we're going to do it on our terms. That's the way my old man did it. That's how I'm going to do it. And at night, at the end of my days, I'm going to be able to sleep. <laughs> What's coming up? So we've, we've, we've grown a lot. Now, we did the first video. You guys came to play. We were like, great. Let's continue finalizing what we call expedition mode. That's releasing, you guys. So. And, and now it's an MVP version, but expedition mode is the app works offline. You can download maps, you can uh, record and share GPX tracks, all kinds of awesome features. There's an offline mode so the app knows what to do when you don't have an internet connection. So that's being released. It's been in beta. You guys came to play, you supported it. Now it's being released within the next week. MVP of expedition mode already, but we're not stopping there because we've really, even though right now our software platform is like, it's pretty freaking good, but we got a long ways to go because our goal is to be the resource for overland adventure travel globally, around the world, no question, right? Users of our software, we already get all kinds of great feedback, but you guys, you need to know we're in, we're in early stage right now. We're in MVP. So you use the app and you're like, oh, it'd be great if. We have a list of this long of, of, of awesome features. And here's the thing, other people can't build it because they don't know. Go and take a look at the other apps that you guys use. Does it seem like maybe there's missed opportunity there? Well, they don't come from an overland or vehicle dependent travel background. They just don't. And you guys do. You inform the features, you tell us what to build, that's exactly what we're gonna build. Let's keep doing it, you guys. We're gonna make history. I'm serious about that. I'm serious about that. We're gonna establish the best overland software platform and community in the world. Social networks, we're building one. But the goals of our community are different. Get you outside to explore, connect with nature, improve your life. Thanks, you guys, for, for hearing me out. Felt emotional, had to talk to you guys. I wanna say thank you. And to even do more, you guys, there's details in the description if you guys wanna participate in our early stage Round. Go and check it out at republic.co slash overlandbound. Link in the description. We'll never quit. Let's build this together and show the world what the overland community is made of.